Hello! I love Harry Potter. It taught me to read, I've read it a ton of times, I know everything about Harry Potter, it's my favourite thing. You've seen the title of the video, Harry Potter is black. He, he is. I think Harry Potter can be mixed race. Mixed, white, and any race. And that's in the text. It's sitting right there. When I started reading Harry Potter, I read him as white, because you assume that every character that you read is white? I, do, I mean, you probably do. I do. I shouldn't. I do. But then I found out about five years ago that you could read it where Harry Potter is not, in fact, white. He's mixed race between white and something else. And I'm going to tell you why you should read it like that, too. First off, what's actually in the text? James's race is never actually mentioned, as far as I'm aware. If I'm wrong, tell me in the comments, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Lily's is the only one that is. Lily is white with green eyes and almond-shaped eyes. Harry looks exactly like James, but with Lily's eyes. So... In the books, James's race is never really specifically mentioned. It's just said that he's kind of tall, good-looking, wears glasses, and has messy black hair. That could be almost anything. People have read him as being Indian, as being Asian, as being black. Pretty much anything you want James to be, you can make him. So the only one of Harry's parents that's actually specified is Lily. Lily is pale, with ginger hair, almond-shaped eyes that are green. That's all you really hear about Lily. And Harry just has Lily's eyes. So if you mix those two together, Harry can either be a white kid, or a mixed race. Or really anything you want, whatever. Doesn't really make a difference. Another thing is Harry's hair never lies flat at the back. My hair doesn't lie flat anywhere. He could be black. Come on, it's right there. Basically, there's so many things in the text that are just coded black for Harry. The fact that the Dursleys treat him different, the fact that his hair sticks up, he looks exactly like his dad, apart from his eyes, which are his mum's. If I'm wrong, tell me in the comments. What does this add to Harry Potter? The Dursleys are white, middle class, and absolutely obsessed with appearances. So it makes sense that they wouldn't like Harry because he's a little black boy that's been put on their doorstep. Makes sense that they're racist. If you look at the language that the Dursleys use to describe James and other wizards, very easily fits in as them talking about their family running off with a black man. And also, it emphasises Harry's otherness when you compare him with the rest of the Dursleys and especially Dudley. Anyone seeing Harry would know that he is not their kid. When Harry goes to Hogwarts, it makes sense that it feels like it's home for him because it's so much more diverse than Little Whinging and what he's used to with the Dursleys. Like, his, in his dorm, there's Dean Thomas, another black kid, that he can interact with and not be treated as though he's different. It's just a refreshing change of pace for him. Another thing, Ginny Weasley also dates Dean Thomas. So Ginny Weasley clearly has a thing for black guys. There's also the wizard's concept of race and racism, because wizards are inherently racist. That's absolutely in the books. But they're not racist against people of other skin colours. They're racist against centaurs and house elves and muggles a little bit. It's all kind of like a blood thing or a full-on magical race thing. <laughs> Wizards just don't have a concept of race the way that we do, outside of goblins and elves and centaurs. It just doesn't ha it just doesn't exist for them. Kingsley Shacklebolt became the Minister for Magic after the war, and no one said anything about it. Whereas if we had a black Prime Minister, it would be one of the biggest things. The wizards are a small community, it doesn't really make sense for them to hate people of the different skin colours when it doesn't really make any difference with your magical ability. Blood status is the only thing that they would care about because they want to keep themselves surviving. If you actually read the books looking for racism, which I've done, there's not a single hint of it outside of allegories and metaphors. No one is ever treated differently in the wizarding world because of their, the colour of their skin. It just doesn't happen. And yeah, it is a kid's book, but you'd expect there to be at least a little bit of something there, but there isn't. You take this as two things. Harry's ignorant and white, which makes sense because Harry doesn't notice anything in the books at all. Or two, Harry is mixed race and wizards just don't care about race at all. Another big thing is wizards can just change their appearance easily. Like, it takes a month to make Polyjuice Potion, but once you've got it, you can look like anyone. And if you get at Transfiguration, you can change your face. It happens all throughout the books. So why would it make sense for wizards to hate people that look different when what, the way you look is completely mutable. People like Tonks exist. They can just change how they look at will. It's no effort for them. Because looks are easily changed, they can't really be traditionally racist, but your blood status is completely immutable. That's the thing that they focus on. And that's a really big theme throughout the books. The fact that you can't change your heritage. Voldemort hates, hates his family, but he can't do anything to change that. It's also just an interesting difference between wizards and muggles, because there's loads of those throughout the books. Like, little things, like, I don't know, uh, just... 
not using toilets for thousands of years. And there's so many of those throughout the books. And this just adds another wrinkle. Because it's not that they're not racist, it's just that they're not racist in the same way that we are. If anything, it just highlights how silly racism is, because wizards are completely unaware of something that muggles completely obsess over. But they're still racist. Entirely. But just, again, something that we have no concept of either. And this inconsistency between wizards and muggles makes for a more believable world, because if you were to say that they didn't have those kind of prejudices, it wouldn't feel real. Something would feel off. But the fact that they do, but it's about something that's inherently magical, it, it makes the world feel like it could actually exist. Of course, that doesn't change that that's not at all what J.K. Rowling meant. She didn't mean to make Harry mixed race, she didn't mean to leave that door open. It's just an oversight in her writing that lends itself to people inserting themselves into the character. I, I can't see anything. But really... Mm, mm. Bye! <laughs> None of this is actually a replacement for making characters that are diverse, because this isn't the same thing. Harry Potter does kind of experience things that you would expect a mixed race character to experience, but none of it is intentional, and none of it is really there in the text. I mean, it's kind of all just coincidence and happy accidents, things adding up to build a picture of someone that isn't the picture the author intended. I'm not going to say the author intent is really important in everything, but in this case it absolutely is. If you look at, say, Undercover Princess, that's a book with characters that are decidedly diverse. There is no two ways about it. I'm not reading that book thinking, oh, I could make this character that. I'm told that they are. So you have no other option but to imagine them that way. And the only reason that any of this could exist in the first place is because people assume that characters are white. I do it all the time, and I'm sure you do it all the time as well, and it just means that writers don't feel the need to specify their character's race unless the character isn't white. And that's a problem in and of itself, but it's nothing I don't want to deal with today. These readings are really cool. It's awesome to see queer and non-white readings of traditionally straight and white characters, but I do really believe that you can't contradict what's in the text. Like, I'm all for headcanons, but when you're going against what's actually written down, it doesn't make sense, and that's kind of a different thing. Um, but you do what you want to do. I don't really care. I'm not the master of you. You can read books however you want to. Or don't read books. Watch the films. So the characters have to be short, white kids with blue eyes. Really annoys me about his eyes. Like, supposed to be like his mum's, but they weren't. I guess the point of this whole mad ramble about Harry Potter not being white is to get you to think more about how you read. When you read a character and their race isn't specified, don't automatically assume that they're white. It might be more interesting to think they're something else. And if there's a chance that they couldn't be straight, um, or cis, or anything, try and read it that way. See what happens. You can add your own diversity into books. That's the one media where you can do that, where you're not shown what the characters actually look like. So do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? What race do you think Harry Potter should be? And are there any other characters that you've read one way when they were intended to be read a different way? Let me know. Or don't. I don't really care. Hello. 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 Okay. <laughs> I was filming that. <laughs>